So this is what most people's CS2 looks like, and this is mine. I really preferred CSGO's art style and how most of the colors were muted out, so I tried to bring some of that back through CS2's settings. I've been playing with these settings for a few months now, and I can assure you that it's definitely not the best for competitive play, but I do like how it looks. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is my resolution. I play 1280 by 960 which is a 4x3 resolution, and then I stretch it out to my 16x9 monitor. And sometimes on CS2 the game will default you to 144Hz, even if your monitor goes far above that and it won't let you change it in the settings, so this is how you fix that. Go to the search bar and then just type display, and then it should bring up this option, which will open your display settings. Scroll all the way down and then click on advanced display settings. Once you're here, you should be able to see all your monitors and what refresh rates they run on, assuming you've set up your monitor properly. Then you need to go into Steam, right click CS2, and then click on properties. Then you're gonna wanna use these two launch options. The first one is dash FREQ, and then the second one is dash refresh. You wanna put your refresh rate after both of these, and it's gonna make it so that your monitor and the game are synced up and they're both going to be running at the highest refresh rate possible. Once you're done with all that, you can go ahead and load up the game and then go over to advanced video. Now with boost player contrast, I turn it off and on at random and I know that it does take an FPS hit and it doesn't really change my gameplay at all. So I might just leave that disabled if I were you. And when it comes to V-Sync, you should only really be using this if you're experiencing screen tearing and I'm not. You can just copy these if you need them, but the two big things here are the texture filtering mode and the Fidelity FX Super Resolution. I've noticed that having the texture filtering mode all the way up at 16x doesn't really take a toll on my performance and it makes my depth of field a lot better. And that makes it so I can see Skin Club, the sponsor of this video. Skin Club recently partnered up with a few different esports orgs like Vitality and the Mongols. Skin Club has a ton of different ways to play, that being upgrades, case unboxings, and case battles, where you can open cases with other people to see who gets the most expensive items. Skin Club has a ton of different ways to deposit, that being CS2 skins, basically every type of crypto, PayPal, and American banks. Click the link in the description and use code TRIP for a 7% deposit bonus. Thanks guys. So there's only two more things for you to do to get your game looking just as crisp as mine. So the first thing is R underscore full screen underscore gamma 4. This is the highest gamma setting that you can have and it makes your game look really moody and dark. Now the final thing that you guys have to do is find a view model that you like. I've been using this view model for about three years now and uh, I'm just used to it so that's why I like it. The general rule for the view models is that you want to end up with a view model that you feel balanced with, that you feel when you move around you're not going to topple over because your view model's off to the side or your gun's in the middle. It, th th there's a ton of weird view models that people end up with and I know it's preference but there is an extent to preference and uh, yeah, don't be dumb. I got room, it's on 40 in my right car. This is 10, yeah, I like I know this.